Hi there, Alex from Hammer Missions. So in this short video, we're going to look at how to use an existing map or model in Hammer Missions to plan a drone flight. So as you can see here on the screen, we've got our existing 3D model, which is the castle. And you can see our flight route over the top of it to capture the data. Obviously, we can switch that off here in captured images. There you go. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this 3D model to create a flight plan. So as you can see from here, we're in data analysis at the moment. And over on this tab here, we are on mission planning. So as you can see, here's the castle in its mapped form in the, uh, in the planning part of Hammer Missions. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a 3D mapping plan. So we just do this as we usually would. Create our polygon over the top, press OK. We can adjust our parameters. So we'll pop that at 120 feet, ground offset of say 40 feet, front overlap at 80, side overlap at 80, and we'll pop on smooth corners as well. we'll change our camera that as a Mavic 2 Pro and there you go so our GSD has come up at 0 0.56 we can actually adjust this a little bit as well square that off so we get a nice even flight there you are so usually you would go out and fly this but as you already know we've already got our 3d map here and what we want to do is we want to plan another flight so what we can do here is we can come to this icon here. If we click on this, choose import type. So we can either import a PNG overlay, which we've shown you in previous videos and blog posts, but now we can also import a previous map or model. So if we click on this here, you can see there, there's the castle. That's, a, that's this map up here. So we click on that and it now tells you import the 3D model. The model will be visible in 3D view. Press OK. And now if we press play, so we want to demo our flight, press play. And you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, it's actually flying the mission on top of our 3D model. And this is great because it gives you some fantastic perspective of your how your mission's actually going to fly. And you can see there we're at the correct height above the object, above the asset. So this is ideal if I now then want to go on and do some more planning. So we go back to all mission files, open this up again. And now we want to, let's say we want to do a facade. So we go facade mapping and we want to come down the side, down here. Press OK. can then, in fact, let's just remove this so it's easier to see. We can rotate our points because obviously we don't want to be flying into the uh, into the building. Move that round. We go top altitude, 120 feet. Bottom altitude. Let's keep it at 33. Actually change our camera, Mavic 2 Pro. Done on that. Need to move these over ever so slightly. And then again, we can import a previous map or model, 3D, which is already imported. So if it's already on the map, it says it's already imported, which is great. Press play. And you'll see here. It's great for checking your distances 
obviously in this there would be a tree here so you'd end up probably flying straight into the tree which wouldn't be good just gives you a fantastic perspective on how to fly that mission giving you full view in 3d space So there you go. That is how to use an existing map or model in Hammer Missions to plan a drone flight. If you like our video, please give us a like. Obviously, you can subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. If you've got any questions, please feel free to contact us on team at hammermissions.com. And thanks very much for watching.